promised myself I'd film today. It's kind of my rest day, so like, because I didn't follow that yesterday or the day before that. <clears throat> I've like double lied to myself about rest days. I can't do that. This thing right here, like my hand, it hurts. And um, I just kind of kept doing things. Like I went to the gym yesterday at chest. And then before that, I went rock climbing and squatted heavy. And then before that, I did 495 for two and benched heavy and failed 315 and failed 315 yesterday. And the previous week, I did my standard DUP training that I find to be very, very, very effective. I'll link in the description of the plan at least I use. I'm so bored. I have nothing to do. All I've just been, I've just been sitting like, I like, I promised myself I wouldn't touch anything or like pick up anything or put anything down per se. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but I promise content, content. There will be content. All right, fuck it. Let's talk about calories to building mass. So a lot of people have a hard time trying to build mass for the most part. A lot of people, you know, their end desire or their whole goal is to, you know, big mass, big arms, big chest, you know, and then, you know, big muscles, big chest, you know, get girls, right? And with the market and everything, it's all been constantly being advertised that you need to take X, 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 and you're gonna get this amazing massive physique. You know, I'm talking about protein, casein, um, creatine. Creatine is a good thing to take, but you don't need to take it. Um, testo boosters, all of these different things that the market is advertising at is good for your body and advertised to the market and basically saying that doing this and taking these are gonna get you that size. Shout out uh, coffee, um, best underrated fat burner. Shout out coffee, uh, most underrated fat burner, you know. Oh yeah, and fat burners too, you know, those things, you know, sold at, you know, Walgreens or Walmart or GNC or Vitamin Shoppy, whatever you wanna call it. But actually, the thing that, that will get you the size that will get you what you want to get, you can all find it just your grocery store. Calories are the number one most important thing to building a physique, whether that be strength, whether that be the classic bodybuilding physique, or just overall healthiness, overall toneness. It's calories. It's all down to, to calories. Rearing to the point of creatine. Creatine is a great supplement, but you can get it from fish. Fish have natural creatine in them, and you can just eat it. You can eat it constantly. Fish is one of the best proteins that you can buy. Chicken's also great too. Fish and chicken are totally, <clears throat> one of the most mind warping things that ever happened for me was going into my junior year of high school, I couldn't have weighed more than maybe 180, 180, about 10 pounds lighter than I am now, but a lot smaller frame. And I couldn't build any mass, I couldn't build any strength. I was doing everything right, I was taking the right things, I was following the way of the world at the time. The time being now, which is take supplements, go to the gym, get swole, drink lots of protein. But I decided that I was going to, I wanted to get heavier. And what I started out was I was eating one meal and I ate and I was like, hmm, I could probably eat again. So later than like an hour, I ate again. And I just did a little test. I did this test for about three days. I kept increasing my meal size. I started at three meals a day. And then the next day I went to four meals a day just to see how it would feel. And the next day I went to five days. Now when I got to five days, it was kind of insane. I felt a lot of pain in my stomach, but I wasn't eating any, I wasn't eating junk. So I also kind of felt like I was always hungry because it's a weird thing when you, when you start eating things that you're not used to packed with the salt and just the comfort level of eating, you know, going to Chick-fil-A or going to Jersey Mike's or going to Habit Burger or any location like that is when you go to like broccoli, rice and chicken or broccoli, sweet potatoes and fish or even ground beef and rice you eat it and you just you feel you still feel hungry and you're not used to it so you always kind of feel like you could just eat a little bit more and once you got to the, once I got to the third day you know I ate that that fifth meal and it made me feel like 
I would have eaten three meals of Chick-fil-A in the day just with the amount of breading and the amount of carbohydrates and the salt all in that. And on the fourth day, I decided I was going to take it down a little bit because I didn't feel too good. So I went down to four meals, just to level it out there for a week. So I went a week with four meals and, and then I stopped on the scale and I gained six pounds. And I was thinking, man, well, if I'm at five meals and in a week I gained six pounds, what's stopping me from amping it up? You know, Rich Pignani always said that if you want to build a serious mass, you need to start at least eating eight meals a day, which at the time I was thinking that's, that's ludicrous. But when you stop eating food for the point of taste, taste is a big one. It's a hard thing to leave behind. I enjoy taste. I like tasting my food, but you need to realize that when you eat, it is fuel for your body. Your body is a car. It's a machine and you are constantly fueling it. And what you put in it is going to depend on how it performs and how it works. You know, if I eat, let's go to pizza. If I eat five pizzas, which is just bread and cheese, cheese is protein, but still it's, what are you getting from that? What are you fueling your gears with? You're going to be greasing it up. But when I came to realize that when I got to later in the future, I was sitting around between like 210 and 215 and I was eating about six meals a day comfortably, like comfortably. It was weird. It was comfortable. And I was, I decided, you know, something I never do is count macros. I'm, I used to, you know, measure out my meals and everything, but I began to see like an eyeball for everything, how much a portion should be. And I just kind of expanded that, um, as you would. And when I put it through, I was eating five, between five and 7,000 calories. Now that it's just, it's just, it's too much. It's not too much, but it's where I felt my ideal level of gaining size and, and not putting on too much body fat. That's where I felt comfortable. And within in about four months, I went from 180 to 230, which I don't know, you completely destroyed me body dysmorphia wise, looking at myself, not seeing any abs, not seeing any veins. I was just a big, you know, so I don't know. It was, it was different. It was a different type of feeling. But the funny thing is, is that was, I got stronger and as I got heavier, you know, when I was 180 benching, you know, one, uh, 180 to, to 225, you know, that's a lot like 225 for 180, that's more than body weight. And it's a decent chunk, but when you go to 230, 225 is less than your body weight. So then my natural 185 for 10 went to 235 for 10. And it started going more and more. And during that bulk is when I actually lift, I benched 315 for the first time, which was completely like, it was like, wow, I never thought this was going to happen. I was uh, 17 and it was just, it was insane. And it got me more to feeling more comfortable pulling between the ranges of 455 and 500 and squatting both of those. Sometimes, soon to come, I'll have a video of it. I don't have it yet. But at that time, my max on squat was 530. My pull was 530. They were both together equally. And it was something that I couldn't believe that I could possibly have done. Now, I've gone down from that. The majority of that strength stayed. And it allowed me to build more on my frame. Now, I'm sure if I decide in the winter time when I'm in college and I show you guys how to how to stay fit, how to get large on a college budget. When I go to college and I show you how to do that, you know, I'm going to be eating a lot. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to push 8,000 calories a day. It's going to be tough, it's going to be hard. I'm going to videotape it, I'm going to measure out everything, but it's it's going to be a mission. So hopefully I can get that done. Once I got down from that size, I got like a little bit bigger. You know, it was it was like there was fluff on top and it got compressed down and it just took the fluff off and that compressed fluff from before just became muscle and which is allowing me to do the things that I'm doing now. So in the end, if you're trying to build size and you want to build strength, look towards the refrigerator. The more calories you take, I can guarantee you will put on more size and more to, you have to continue your regiment and everything that you do. But I guarantee you that if you eat more and you eat healthier, more of healthier foods, more times a day, start out, I would say this, if you have three meals that you eat a day, take those, cut them in half. So you're eating one part of that meal. You're eating half of the first meal, one part, half in the second part. So you start, you start doing one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of three, that'll get your body more used to it. And then you can start adding more food on to where you feel comfortable. And that's the easiest way that I think that you can build size and mass in a certain amount of time, whenever, whatever time you need. Because if you need to get bigger at a certain point, just eat more food. You know, you can't, it's obviously not going to work overnight, but if you eat enough, you're going to put mass on. I know this was kind of different, could have been kind of boring. I don't know, I'm sitting here with a pot of coffee, you know, 
my monster shirt. Just wanted to say, hey, if you enjoy listening to me talk for this past 10 minutes, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, ring that bell to let you know when a new video is coming out. My name is Jared, Z my name is Jared Zikowski, and I'll see you in the next one.